Welcome to Bill's Bridge Corner, Monday, January 20th, 2014, Class 89, Low-Level Transfers. A couple of days ago, we covered extensions to stamen and some non-standard approaches. Today, we're going to cover some extensions to Jacobi transfer, some non-standard approaches. And as with all conventions, you must decide for yourself whether it's worth taking the convention or not, the pluses and minuses of the convention itself. You be the judge. Here we go. Jacoby transfer. Partner opens one no trump and we're going to assume the opponents are passing throughout. You transfer to a major suit with two diamonds or two hearts showing a five card or longer suit. You bid a suit just below the suit you want to transfer to. Hearts or spades. Now what? Here's an alternate treatment. The traditional treatments are two spades over two hearts is invitational. It shows four spades, five hearts, and invites eight or nine points, playing points, inviting game. Two no trump is balanced invitational, showing five hearts and a, usually a balanced hand, inviting three no trump or four hearts or four spades. Three level bid shows a four card or longer suit and is a game force, and so on. Here's a suggested alternative. After one no trump, two diamonds, two hearts, transfer to hearts. Switch the meanings of no trump rebids and spade rebids. So if you do that, two spades is game invitational showing a balanced hand, alert, while Two no trump is forcing, showing four or five spades and five or more hearts. Alert, the fact that it's forcing leads you to a possible negative of this convention, but you'll see the advantage of it short with. Three clubs and three diamond retain their mean, meanings as before. Three hearts is invitational, showing a six card heart suit, inviting game. Uh, in either no trump, but more likely in hearts, showing six card suit. Three spades shows slam interest, balance, and is really Roman key card Blackwood in hearts. Interesting concept. Three no trump offers a choice of game as normal. Four clubs then can be used as Gerber. Since we haven't agreed on a suit, it can't be Blackwood, it's got to be Gerber. Four spades is slam invitational and showing a balanced hand. Four no trump slam invitational with four spades. What about this treatment after one no trump, two diamonds, two hearts, two spades? Two spades shows a balanced hand. Alert. Responder made a game try with five hearts. Spades are artificial. Opener's third bid is similar to what we covered when we went through the week two. Think August. Two no trump shows a minimum with two hearts. Responder can pass. He doesn't like the heart suit. Three club shows a minimum, but three or more hearts. Three diamond shows a maximum with two hearts. And three hearts shows a maximum with three hearts. If you had four hearts and you were maximum, you would have super accepted, so that does not apply. What about the other major suit holdings that you might have? If you're five, four, or six, four in the majors and enough for game, use Smolin. We covered that in class 16 way back in November 8th. If you're five, four, or six, four in invitational, you have a choice of things you might do. You can transfer to hearts and then bid two no trump with this treatment with five or six hearts and four or more spades or bid two clubs stamen then raise if a fit is found or bid two spades with five spades and four hearts. If you're five five in the majors but cannot force the game bid two clubs and raise a major suit response or bid two spades over two diamonds. What about 5-5 five, five in the majors and game or better? That's actually the hand that we saw a couple times back. If you're 5-5 five, five in the majors and have enough for game, transfer to spades, then bid three hearts. Opener can then 
select three spades, which is forcing, since game force exists. Sign off in three no trump, four hearts or four spades. Q bid, four clubs or four diamonds, implying a heart fit. Or bid four no trump, which is a special case of Roman key card Blackwood with six key cards and two suits, which we'll cover in the future. For now, just play it as key card Blackwood. Or straight Blackwood. And the question, why do we do this? Well, let's look at the advantages of this approach. Most sequences where you're going to play in spades result in the one no trump opener being the declared. The transfer principle we saw where the strong hand is a hidden hand and it has to be led toward. There's also more accurate bidding in part scores with the august continuation, which we covered. It also allows for a low level Roman key card Blackwood sequence after the sequence one no trump two diamonds two hearts three spades there are some disadvantages it may be difficult to show certain distributions if you do not have a game forcing hand but remember the ambiguous splinter is still available see class 86 January 17th Another disadvantage is you can't invite at two spades if you're five, four, five in the majors. You're going to have to go to the three level or two no trump. Also, it allows the opponents to make a lead directing double of the artificial two spade game try. Your choice for this treatment. Let's look at yesterday's hand. It actually was a couple days ago. The bidding might be with this sequence, it would go one no trump, pass, two hearts, two spades. He doesn't need to do a super except. Now three hearts, which shows five, four, five, five in the majors and forcing. North accepts spades. And now south does exclusion blackwood and finding two aces goes on to seven. Sequence is actually quite similar to what we saw earlier. But it's your choice, your poison. Tomorrow, we're going to go back to declare play and we're going to look at the cross rough. See you tomorrow.